myself many times. Uh, I've never seen any ghosts. I'm somehow a child. <laughs> Just to, to address your question earlier about can the participation in the haunted attraction offer a, a glimpse into the, hist the, the genuine history of a site? And I would, I, I'm just, I think that's a really wonderful question, and I think no. I think that they directly conflict with each other. I don't think that if you come to, a, you come to a haunted house for very different reasons, even if they're both social, you're there with your lover, you're there with your family, whatever, and it's to get the bejesus scared out of you. And it's not, and, and the, it's a clashing, you know, cognizant dissonance to try to then appreciate the content of the place, the genuine content of the place. I'm not saying that one is evil, that the haunted house is evil. I don't think it is, but I think that to, it, it's a pretense to think, oh, we're introducing them these visitors to some, you know, they're, they're getting their broccoli when they when they eat their cotton candy, and I just think they're different. Mm, totally different. Um, I'm wondering what people think um, also of that comment, but then also Norm's comment about um, uh, about just these places being empty buildings too. I'm interested in what people's reactions to that are because I, I do think there's maybe there's something there too. You know, again, yeah. I actually disagree on that. and candy or, you know, mixing your haunted attraction with the actual historic site and that they don't mix, I actually disagree. I feel that anywhere you go, any place you go, you're going to be soaking it in on some level, subconsciously, cognizantly maybe sometimes and other times not so cognizantly. But especially going to some place like, say, Eastern State or even Penhurst where it's so full of so much charge that you can't help but absorb it. You can't help but feel that fear. And the fear is what keeps you alive because people are so attracted to this fear because they're afraid of it, right? You're attracted to something you're afraid of, actually. You may, some people may run away from it, but then they seek it on some other level in their life. So, I mean, when we go to a haunted house, or I know the reason I love horror movies myself, <coughs> well, I mean, other people do too, on levels are because you are facing it. You're seeing it, you're facing it. So on a level, it's, you know, a haunted house, even though you know it's not real, you're able to, as he was saying, take it one thing. And I think that it does, especially when you're involved in something so historical, that you can't help but be affected by whatever has gone before you in this place, and, and whether you're aware of it or not. That's it. <coughs> yeah. One of the things about Halloween is, you know, it's about demons. <laughs> 